The examination of the anterior chest is often the primary focus of an OSCE. Start your exam with general inspection and then move on to closer inspection. You may more clearly see skeletal abnormalities, scars, asymmetry of chest wall movement, or the swelling of subcutaneous emphysema. I'm just going to compress your rib cage, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. This assesses for any rib trauma. If there's a fracture or bruise, the pain localizes to the affected area. Now I'm just going to feel for the placement of your heart. Palpate now for the apex beat. This is the most inferior lateral point where the pulsation of the heart is palpable. When it is found, identify its anatomical location to determine if it is displaced. It should be located in the fifth left intercostal space on the midclavicular line. So Dara, I'm just going to put my two hands on your, on your chest. Yeah. Dara, I guess you take a deep breath in and out through your mouth. This assesses symmetry of chest wall movement. Okay, and another one. This assesses all chest out. expansion. Thumbs should move and symmetrically and normal expansion is at least five centimeters. Your thumbs must meet at the moment of full expiration for an accurate assessment of chest expansion. Uh, so will you be able to repeat after me, blue balloons? Blue balloons. And every time I move my hand. Balloons. This assesses balloons. tactile fremitus. Balloons. Position the side of your hand balloons. in the intercostal spaces to maximize balloons. sensitivity. Balloons. Fremitus is increased balloons. over consolidation, lower collapse or solid masses. <coughs> it is decreased over balloons. effusion. Blue balloons. Blue balloons. Thank you. So I'm going to tap around your chest. Percuss the anterior chest, starting by tapping directly on the clavicles. Move in an S-shaped pattern and percuss three to four areas. Try to align your static finger with the intercostal spaces for a clearer percussion note. Percuss two areas in the axilla. Percussion over lung is normally resonant. Consolidated lung and atelectasis would sound dull. Pleural effusion would sound stony dull. If the patient has a pneumothorax, the lung would sound hyper-resonant. Okay. Next, I'm going to listen to your chest. So. Can I get you to take deep breaths in and out through your mouth? Start by listening over the apices with the bell. Switch over to the diaphragm. I move in an S-shaped pattern so the right is compared to the left and upper compared to lower regions. Listen over the same areas you percussed, the apices and then three to four areas down the chest and two areas in the axillae. When presenting your findings on auscultation, are the breath sounds present, reduced, or absent, specifying where the changes occurs? Are they normal vesicular or bronchial? Are there any added sounds such as wheeze, crackles, or rubs? Mm 